I used to believe Google would just send me traffic if I created high quality content. You know, do boring keyword research, create an article, hit publish, and then praying I get some traffic. But the truth is, this is a losing strategy. Let me show you something. A recent study and stat by SparkToro shows that almost 60% of Google searches end in zero clicks. This means people who are searching for something on Google typically aren't clicking on anything in the search results. Out of the 41% of users who actually clicked on something, 70% clicked on on organic results, 28% clicked on a video or an image, and less than 1% clicked on an ad. Basically, Google is turning more into a visibility engine than a search engine. So where the hell is everyone, right? Well, they're kind of everywhere. So in this video, I'll be showing you the seven best free ways on how to get more traffic to your websites. I'll go through each one, explain what it is, and give you an actual example of how I'm using these free methods for driving free traffic. Using some of these methods, we gained a lot of traffic. On Quora, we gained more than half a million views for the year. On Reddit, we gained 66,000 views in just four days. And using a blogging method, we created an article without a website. It ranked really well and makes us monthly commissions every month. And I'll show you how we did that. And I've also discovered a free way on how to build free automated backlinks from your website. No AI tools, no BS, no paid programs, just a really clever way on how to build automated backlinks from your website. And if you're a complete noob with digital marketing, no problem. I've included a downloadable PDF in the video description on how to market your business. With that said, let's go to our first method. First up, Quora. So confession time. At first I thought Quora was basically a retirement home for the internet. Most people think Quora is an old people website. You know, full of people arguing about historical facts and posting questions like, what was life before iPhones? But it turns out Quora is a traffic machine hiding in plain sight. Quora receives more than 400 million visits every single month. And it has loads of opportunities and ways to bring traffic to your websites. Here's why Quora is good for you. Quora ranks insanely well on Google. People type questions in Google every single day. And guess what? Quora answers pop up everywhere. Here's what you do. You first search for a question in your niche. Or better yet, create your own question. For example, what are the best free ways to get traffic to my websites? And then you answer your own question. Seriously, it's like being both detective and the culprit. So then in your answer, you naturally mention your websites, add your link, maybe even your blog posts, or even in your Quora space. So let me give you a quick example of how I use the same method to hack the Google search results. So next, let me give you a second example of how to use Quora to your advantage. I typed in the keyword, who is Daryl Wilson? Believe it or not, people are typing in in the search results, who is Daryl Wilson? What is Daryl Wilson's net worth? And a few other personal details, right? Now, if I scroll down, you're gonna see that there is this Quora question, who is Daryl Wilson? Now, did someone actually ask this question? Well, technically, yes. I actually asked this question and then I decided to answer my own question. And I did this because, you know, it's it's helpful, right? Some people might wanna know about who is Daryl Wilson, they wanna know my net worth, but I don't really wanna create a blog post for that. There's really no need to do that, right? So in this case, I actually asked a question on Quora and then I answered it. I've actually added this to my SEO strategy. So now I'm just answering mass questions on Quora and I'm driving that traffic to my website. You can also hire someone and just answer all these questions on your behalf to just build backlinks consistently to your website. Next, let's talk about something that sounds really shady, Parasite SEO. No, you're not actually becoming a parasite, but you're just borrowing the strength of bigger websites to get your content ranking faster. Why spend countless hours blogging trying to rank content on your website when you can blog on large domain authority websites and rank your content quickly? See, platforms like LinkedIn and Medium have huge domain authority. Google loves them. When you post an article on these platforms, you bypass the usual struggle of trying to rank your brand new posts on your website. You're also running the reputation of these websites so you can get your content seen faster. And inside your post, you can add a backlink to your website for that sweet referral traffic. You can also add affiliate links, sell products, and capture leads. Meet Blogify. This is just some random AI tool that claims they can automate your blog. Now they probably can't, I don't recommend it, but that's not what I wanna talk about. Let's head over to Google. I'll type into Blogify review, and the very first result is actually a Medium article. What the hell is Medium? Well, regardless, it's a blogging platform that does rank content for low competitive keywords and even competitive keywords on the front page of Google. In fact, on the first page of Google for this specific keyword, there's actually two other LinkedIn articles ranking for this keyword. Method three, starting an old school forum? What? And your first question might be why? I thought forums are dead. Like who goes to forums today, right? What are you old? Well, in 2025, SEO kind of changed things. Now here's the most underrated strategy to get traffic to your website. 
Build a forum. Yeah, I know it sounds old school, but let me explain. When you create a forum, you're not just adding a page or two to your website, you're building hundreds or even thousands of indexable pages over time. Every time someone starts a discussion, replies to a post, or asks a question, that content gets picked up by the Google crawlers. And guess what? Google loves fresh user-generated content, and this will create searchable links in the search engine. Have you ever heard of stake.com, that one gambling degenerate website where all these young influencers are promoting their scams? Well, they recently introduced a forum onto their websites. Well, why did they do this? So they can get more indexable links back to their websites. In fact, there's more than 2.4 million links now that has been generated by the stake forums. So let's give you an example. Here I'll go to the casino discussion and scroll down. What I'll do is I'll click on one of these questions. Here's a question, what's your biggest win with the smallest bets? So here you'll see many people are replying to this question. Now many people have found this question not through stake.com, but through the Google search results. Here we'll go ahead and copy and paste this question and search for it in Google. You'll see that the stake form right here pops up leading back to that original question. What's great about this approach is users are automating the backlink process for you. Basically, you have a complete community to build backlinks for your website for free. On top of that, did you also know that Google has actually added a forums tab in the search results? If we were to click on the forum tab, you're also gonna see many forums right here asking questions and answering questions that can drive more traffic to your websites. Now the next example is even better. Someone asked the question, what are the best numbers on roulettes? When we take this same search term and we go to Google, you'll be surprised on how well it ranks. The crazy part is they didn't have to do anything whatsoever. They just open up a form and they're just letting all these users build automated links to their websites. So by implementing a form in 2025, this is a really quick hack on how to just get mad traffic to your websites. And if you're not ranking on the first page, don't feel bad because you can always rank in the form section in the Google search. So try it out, build a form. I have a video that shows you how to do this in the video description that I'll show you how to build a form. And once you have a form, you can actually ask your own questions and maybe even answer them and see where that goes. Number four, blog commenting on social websites. So let's clear the air here. I'm not saying go to Instagram posts or YouTube videos and just writing, hey, great video, man, or oh, this is a good post. Those are low value comments. I'm talking about high value comments where if someone sees a comment, they're more likely to upvote it, to like it, and also click on the user's profile. Create high value comments on high traffic websites or viral videos and extract long-term traffic to your websites. In fact, I commented on several high traffic blog posts from Elementor and Elegant Themes years ago, and I'm still getting daily traffic from these high ranking blog posts. It's actually quite funny. I commented on Elegant Themes and Elementor's blog post about how their templates look terrible and people were like upvoting it. And then many people like were going to my website because of that reason. And I, you know, I didn't mean to trash the guys, but I just said like, you know, your templates kind of suck. Now this one's seriously underrated, video syndication. So if you're not already creating video content for your business, you really should be because everyone knows that's where things are going. Now what's great about video content is you can take one piece of content and syndicate that onto many platforms. Here's a few places where you can repurpose your video contents, YouTube Shorts. In fact, this is a great way to build exposure to the second largest search engine in the world. You can also use TikTok, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, Pinterest, yes, Pinterest now supports video pins. Did you know you can take your shorts and post video pins on Pinterest? In fact, Pinterest videos have a 400% higher engagement rate than those of standard images. And finally, Rumble, yes. Now before you think Rumble is just some right-wing website, think again, Rumble is on the rise. It has more than 70 million active users. And when content creators get kicked off YouTube, they then start a Rumble channel. Many companies are now investing in Rumble, including USDT. USDT has invested more than $700 million in Rumble, believing one day it might be on par with YouTube. Now, I know many people are hesitant to create video content because they don't want to put themselves out there, right? I totally get it. But in 2025 and beyond, let's be real, everything is going towards video content. And don't worry about the nasty comments. I get comments all the time. People will say, oh, you're an idiot. You're a fake guru. F you, Darrow. I mean, I get them all the time. You eventually become numb to the comments. So don't worry about them too much. And also, if you're thinking to yourself, I don't look good. What if people don't like me? Just remember, nobody cares but you. Method six, the Google business profile weapon. Now let's talk about your secret weapon, Google business profile. You've probably seen those fancy panels that pop up when you search for a local business, right? Well, you can have that too, for free. Setting up your profile is free and ridiculously powerful because you show up at the top of the search results. 
Here's why you should create a Google business profile. Number one, you show up in the Google search results above the normal organic listings. Number two, people can see your photos, reviews, websites, and directions. Number three, you build instant trust with new visitors. It's like getting your own billboard on Google's front page without paying for ads. Now there is another bonus hack using Google Business Profile. I made a video talking about web design marketing on how you can use a silo strategy. So you can create multiple businesses in your community and you can create Google Business Profiles for each of those businesses. That means you can really increase your reach depending on what users are searching in the search results. If you want to learn more about silo hacking with Google Business Profile, I will leave that video in the description for you to check out later. Number seven, Reddit. Yes, Reddit is chaotic. It's full of memes, trolls, debates, and the angry mob. You might have discovered many people are very angry on Reddit. But if you use it the right way, Reddit can be a goldmine for targeted traffic. Here's how you do it. You find a subreddit in your niche. You then answer questions, join conversations, and drop genuine advice. People will also click on your profile, and guess what? You can add a link in your website bio. You can even recommend your own services or websites in the comments. But trust me, Reddit users have a sixth sense when it comes to spam, so play it cool. So just do it right, and you'll have long-term traffic that come in from threads that rank in Google for years. So there you go, seven free ways on how to get more traffic to your WordPress websites. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions about any of these methods, let me know in the comments below, and I will answer all of your comments. Hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video. Take care.